Hello friends, welcome to Nankishore classes. Today's lecture is going to be very interesting because today we are going to learn what is additive inverse, additive identity, multiplicative inverse and multiplicative identity. These are the topics where students usually gets confused because identity and inverse gets mixed. That is why we are making today's video. Let us learn it one by one. I am going to start from additive inverse. First of all, if we talk about additive inverse, how we need to think, how students should think, that's what I'm going to tell. In additive inverse, one should think that what should I add so that result becomes zero. Listen again carefully. Additive inverse, what should I add so that result becomes zero? That's it. For example, you are having a number two. And somebody asks you what's the additive inverse of this number. So you should think, what should I add to two to get the result zero? That means I am definitely going to add negative two to it only then I will get zero result, right? So additive inverse is just the change of sign. For example, if my given number is negative three, if I need to find additive inverse, that means what should I add so that result is zero? That means I need to add three to it, only then I'll get result zero. So in short, what should I remember? I just need to change the sign. For example, additive inverse of 5. This is equal to minus 5. Just change of sign only. Or additive inverse of minus 9. This will be equal to only 9. I hope it is clear. It is just the change of sign. If you are asked what is the additive inverse of 5 over 3 it will be minus 5 over 3 that's it for negative value positive answer positive value negative answer is it clear yes so this is about additive inverse but if we talk about multiplicative inverse we will firstly complete multiplicative inverse then we'll come back to what it is multiplicative <coughs> inverse in addi additive inverse we what we used to think what should i add to get the result zero but in multiplicative inverse what we need to think with which number should i multiply to get the result one i'm repeating with which number should i multiply to get the result one for example let's suppose your number is five with which number 5 should be multiplied so that you get result as 1. I'll say 5 should be multiplied with 1 over 5. I will get result 1. That means 5 and 1 over 5 both are multiplicative inverse of each other. Because if you are having 1 over 5, you will multiply it by 5 to get the 1. So ultimately same rule is applicable for both. So do remember for multiplicative inverse, we do the reciprocal of a number. What we do? Reciprocal of a number. For example, multiplicative inverse of 3 is 1 over 3. Right? Multiplicative inverse of 1 over 9, it will be only 9. Same way, multiplicative inverse of 2 over 3 it will be equal to 3 over 2. So we just need to flip the numerators and denominators with each other. But yes, condition should be clear. Additive inverse, addition should be 0. Multiplicative inverse, multiplication should be 1. Right? So two concepts are covered. Now let's come to identity. In this way, now you will get to know in the same video the difference between inverse and identities. I'm going to start with first of all 
एडिटिव आइडेंटिटी एडिटिव आइडेंटिटी लेट एस सी सी इन एडिटिव आइडेंटिटी बट वी शुड रिमेंबर वट शुड आई एड सो दैट देर इज नो चेंज इन द रिजल्ट हाउ आई रिमेंबर नो बडी कैन चेंज माई आइडेंटिटी एडिटिव आइडेंटिटी मीन्स इवन दो आई एड समथिंग बट माई आइडेंटिटी इज नॉट गेटिंग चेंज दैट वर्क कैन बी डन बाय जीरो ओनली दैट मीन्स जीरो इज नोन एज एडिटिव आइडेंटिटी बिकॉज If three is there, you are adding zero. Result is still same, three. So what is additive identity? Zero. Zero is known as additive identity. Do remember it. And multiplicative identity. Multiplicative identity. What we need to think? With which number should I multiply? So that my identity does not change. that is one right you multiply any number with one there is no change right number remain same for example if you have even fraction i am writing 2 over 3 if you will multiply it with one you will still get 2 upon 3 only so multiplicative identity is known as one one is multiplicative identity so inverse multiplicative inverse additive inverse it depends on the value given whereas Additive identity always remain zero. Multiplicative identity always remain one. I hope difference between all of them is clear. Thank you so much for watching today's video.